Hey guys, it's Mark from StreamTeam.ca. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to add your own personal video files uh, to your library. That way, you can stream them either from a network drive or from your PC directly to your box and watch them on your TV. Okay, so to do so, first of all, you need files uh, somewhere, either on a PC in your house on the same network that you are connected to, or on a network drive that you can access. Um, in this case, I'm going to access my network drive. So I'm going to go to Videos, Files, and then down here, I'm going to go to Add Videos. Now it's going to ask me to find my videos. I'm going to go to Browse. It gives you lots of options. These are just hard drives here. Um, but I'm looking for, you might be able to find it on a network file system. I know I can find my network drive on there, but I know I can also find it in my Windows network. And I think that's where most of you are going to find your files, if it's stored on your PC um, or if it's on a network drive that's attached to your PC. So I'm going to click on that. And there's my live book. That's Smartware. Clicking till I find the folder I want. And I'm going to install, I already have my movies installed, so I'm going to install my TV folder. shows. Okay. So now it's going to put all the TV shows. Now it's going to ask me to enter a name for this media source. So I'm just going to name it TV shows and I'm going to click OK. Now this directory contains, I'm going to tell it contains TV shows. This way all the information uh, for the TV shows is going to be scraped by the TVDB, which is um, it's a program that's going to find all the relevant uh, plot lines for the TV shows, the episodes, um, all the latest fan art there is for these. Um, I'll show you in a second. Selected folder contains a single file. No. Exclude path. No. So there we go. Now if it was a movie folder I was doing, then I would have selected movies. Okay, I'm going to let it download, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, it's done doing that. As you can see, it took a few minutes to do it. Um, it depends on how many video files you have. Uh, my movies, I have over 600 movies, so it takes quite a while. Um, but now you can see the TV shows folder has been added here. So now if we go back to the main screen, it's also been added here. Now the TV shows is an option. So if I click on this, it's going to open up all my TV shows. And I'm going to change my view. There's all my TV shows that I've just added to my library. As you can see, it's beautiful. Beautiful pictures, gives you the plots. This is what this, the scraper did, gave you all these pictures, gave you all these, um, the plot lines and all that. So if I clicked on an episode of, let's say, Homeland, season two, it's going to do the same thing with each individual episode. It's even going to give you plot lines, tell you the air date and everything. So that's how to add video files to your XBMC box and have your own personal media library. Thanks again.